Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of my podcast. We have a very special guest today. Uh, he is one of the uh, best rappers to come from Sri Lanka. Uh, we have Krishan. Hi Krishan. That's a bit of an overstatement. Uh, hi Machan, <laughs> good to be on, on the blog uh, channel. All things with you. I'm good. How are you doing with uh, everything, with the COVID and everything, lockdowns and stuff? Uh, Machan, we've been pretty fortunate in terms of uh, COVID uh, because uh, I live in uh, like the north northmost uh, part of uh, Australia, Machan, in a city called Darwin, mm. uh, and uh, it's it's pretty pretty uh, smaller compared to the other states. So we don't we don't really uh, have a lot of people. We have about 160, 170,000 people living in Darwin. Mm. But as far as as far as COVID was concerned, Machan, we had uh, we had only about 38 cases, whatever. It was pretty well controlled. We closed the borders, um, and then uh, now we have zero cases. So we've we've still had closed borders, but uh, mm-hmm. things are back to normal. Also. Things are back to normal. So everyone's working, everyone's going out. Uh, things are things are back to uh, where it used to be. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah. Um, when did you went back to uh, Sri Lanka last time? I think you, like maybe like in Feb, right? Feb or January? No, uh, Mama, uh, uh, December here uh, for, for, for about a month uh, just to visit family. Uh, and for uh, Daghila, or must say, like, uh, yeah, missing home, Mother, like, obviously. Uh, everything was back there, so. Uh, missing home, but uh, good to good to be back uh, once in a while and see family. Right, because I saw I saw a couple of your interviews you did uh, while you were there, right, uh, with Danu and. Uh, oh, yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna take a uh, interview after I and just start. Danu is a very good friend of mine, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so we met up a casual chat over a meal, and then that became a, a TV. Sort of a he's one of his TV programs, so it's been good, much good. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so Krishan, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your childhood uh, and your your earliest memories of like music growing up? Uh, yeah. So definitely. Uh, so I, I much I was born and raised in in Kalambo, So I was uh, actually I was born in Wattala, uh, mm. and during the eighty three. Riots. Uh, my mom moved with my brother and, and I to to Kolpiti. and then uh, we've been living in Bamba, Kolpiti, Valavatta. So we've been much on, uh, in, more or less in raised in in Kalambo. Uh, I was at Saint Thomas's. Um, he was at Prep and then at Mount. I was at Royal Royal Maja. Uh So that was. Uh, that was basically our education and all that. Mm. Pretty, uh, pretty basic middle class upbringing, much. And so uh, we we had access to like uh, music only, like say only English music. To, uh, we used to listen to uh, obviously on tapes and stuff like that. But my father had a music collection. And all that. But later on, much and I was slowly introduced to a bit of rap music. So mm. much and, uh it was it was House of Pain, uh, Public Enemy, uh, right. uh, a bit of Coolio, a bit of Tupac, uh, Ice T. Here uh, I used to like listen to some of their stuff. And it was much like, what do you mean? I used hip hop music. So right. uh, I had, uh, had a bit of a like a major. Interest to do something. You know, is called a much another. Pity pass a much a back row. I'm a like usually about the back row. This much and making a beat on the table uh, and and writing uh, songs down much on a on the on the book on the on the books much on just writing rhymes like very cringy <laughs> cringy rhymes much on. Uh, that's how it started. So him much on from the balla balla. Um, uh, like when then then Machan, uh, you remember there was an era Machan, where there was uh, MTV on TNL TV for about an hour or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. MTV jams, program that 
hip hop world uh, hip hop scene the videos tika pen danna patan gatta hai so then yeah, yeah. Man, like wow this is like this is like game change for us right so you were mother our videos tika balla machan then you are like really into it and uh, you are trying to uh, i used to record uh, videos machan like say right. on, our, on a vhs tape so i can i can watch it again and again so our man our programs tika machan record karo na vhs se dala machan record kela i balla balla machan I I mama I mama na the product rap scene ne ba bassa mama. Uh, Gajan Gajan is my brother. Gajan. Right, uh, right. Gajan, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so what about the the Tamil songs, Macha? What were you like? You were listening to like Tamil songs and stuff that those days? Yeah, Macha. I used to. I used to definitely listen to like Tamil songs. Because my mom listens to Tamil music on the radio. So like S L B C and. Uh, our tamil um, radio station macham sindhu tiga yana macham on the background we used to watch tamil movies so there is always much on our tamil music upbringing up deep down because uh, anyhow we used to go watch the movies and uh, listen to the songs and stuff like that but that the music in 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 that era of tamil uh, songs you know macham was very uh, i would say car uh, very uh, contemporary macham very very uh, like say you would say film sort of music it really didn't present you know trendy enough at that time for for us so may may rap scene then or but dakara any maza or pre trend that there now so we so we right. have to do it so oi mulim maza tamil rap scene na kare na maza ai ai mama maza we were big fans of hip hop music in in english maza so right apita maza mula hari inspiration was was all these uh, Coolio's album Gangsters Paradise. Then, much on my father sent me uh, Will Smith's uh, CD. Much on Big Billy style. Right. It was say much on like Usher's first like My Way album. Then, or a bunch of CDs. Tika thambe la much on you listen to it over and over again. I was I like fully full on went into urban music. Much so like urban music was like a part and parcel of you know my right. young teenage days. If you go to much on. Um, हेम पतामेंगे and aftel had uh, started playing this on tnl radio much i'm not mistaken aftel used to have a i can't remember the name of the show but uh, aftel started playing some of this uh, hip hop music uh, brown boogie nation kela much oh they brown they, yeah the coincidence they, yeah yeah, okay. yeah i remember much at the brown boogie nation they launched their lions and tigers video on ya tv that was like a yeah, big yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. big game yeah, yeah. right That's yeah, the first so, time. So lions and tigers, lions and tigers. <laughs> Everybody wants to be the king of the jungle. 1983 and the streets are hot. Riots and dramas and the gun at the shop. Mobs and torches burning down homes. Where's the army? The people are alone. Uh, so much uh, on. So this is like uh, inspiration, much on. This is inspiration. Brown Boogie Nation kind of inspired me to get into hip hop music because because uh, the coincidence was much on. These guys were. Also at Royal and Saint Thomas's, so Subodha, right. Subodha and Randhir were seniors to me, Major. Right. So I used to like, I used to like uh, see Randhir uh, in school, and uh, hey, I know this guy. Uh, this is the guy from Brown Boogie Nation. And then Nishan, Nishan was Major with uh, in Saint Thomas's. So uh, Nishan, Randhir, and Subodha were Brown Boogie Nation. Then Major, right. I somehow got in touch with Randhir, Major, and then I. Uh, I was a little kid. I was about fourteen, fifteen, fourteen years old, I mean. Uh, and then uh, got in touch with Randhi, and Randhi said, "Okay, okay, I'll take you, uh, and we'll meet uh, Nishan." And my brother also met Nishan through Ya TV, and uh, then Majang, Abi Yana Majang, Nishan ke kitre ke hilla. We we uh, Nishan was trying to set up his label, Majang. Right. Uh, Brown Boogie Nation. Uh, uh, there was a Brown and Proud Records or something like that. Brown. So Machan uh, Nishan Nishan has a little sample of Machan and he's he's uh, now now getting into production and uh, now his first group uh, that is signed uh, that's going to be like mentored under him is Machan Amai Ai Ai 
Delon Veera Singh Amma Chan. So, Abhi Thundin Amma Chan, 1997, uh, I used to like catch a bus and Majam go to Nishan's house in Mount Levin, Ayai Mamai Majam bus Anyana, uh, just to start a, like this this whole hip hop journey Macha. So we are writing rhymes Macham and we are, right. we are putting like our pote liela Macha practice well of Anyana. Then Nishan together. Then Nishan Macha beats Sadala Macha pen na. Uh, he had a little sampler and uh, then he formed a little group called War Poets Kila Macha. Mm. So Mamai, I, I, uh, Delon, we, uh, we, 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 we started like doing a song, uh, we did like one original and then Nishan had uh, used his sampler and put out the track, Maja. and up here Sindhu Aran, Maja, I mean, there's some DJ competition, Maja. I mean, uh, it's, I think at uh, Sri Lanka Exhibition Convention Center. So right. Right, like our mother, Maja, is very, very strict and uh, our, our old school, Maja. So, like like young guys going out in the night to these like events and DJ things and all this was like you know no way. So she then she said no you have to go with your cousin brother he has to come here. And we are begging for the mic, mm. right? So so these DJs say no, no come later later we we'll put you later. So from like we were literally I remember. We were literally waiting for hours and they didn't even let us get on stage. Right? Mm. So, I was like, 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 I uh, you need to meet these guys, uh, uh, Shiraz. Mm. You have to meet Shiraz. So, I've heard of Shiraz. Uh, Shiraz, Root Boy Republic. Uh, so, Shiraz, Asif, and Rukshan Dole were, were Root Boy Republic. Right. Uh, and they had, uh, I think, uh, what was his name? DJ Herbie or someone. Uh, used to be a DJ, so he used to make the beats, Macha. So he used to like put our instrumentals, the Akarandala, Macha. But then, Amai, Ayai, Macha, Pitkaranda, there was a car, she was Macha Serena, and I didn't know Macha. Arangana, hey, come on, get in the van, man. This is this rookie, rookie is from America, and then Lucky Macha, rookie is like, hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, I heard you guys rap and this and they're like, yeah, yeah, we're like, we're excited. We want to do a song, we want to do a song. And then, then he's like, okay, let me, let me get, let me get a beat organized. You know, uh, he gave, uh, Silky Fine's instrumental, Macha. Romeo and Julie, yeah. You know, there was a song. Uh, so 1998, Macha. Uh, api yana, Macha, api. Then now Rookie's got the beat. Right. Uh, and uh, Shiraz, Shiraz is Machan Shiraz is also saying, hey, hey guys, let's do a song together. All right, you, you, what, are you, what are you guys called? And my brother said, we'll call ourselves Urban Sound. Okay, okay Urban Sound and Root Boy, let's do a song. Uh, smooth Flow, right? So, I think he had take on studios, Randa Dasana, I was uh, the, the engineer. We played, we gave him the CD. Uh, I, I, my, uh, we had about thousand bucks, Machan. My, we, we, we saved our pocket money, so we only had two hours of recording. So we, had mm. it, we only have two hours booked, uh, 10, 10 we record our uh, rhymes. Uh, so, Machan, 1998, uh, Ranga was super cool, Machan. Ranga was like very, very supportive because this is a new wave, ne, Machan. So, right. Columbus Pride Project, that was like Brown Boogie Nation, Root Boy Republic, Bath Yage, Sindhu Atibba, Machan. Baby, come back, don't leave me, kill my man. Like that time, uh, Bhati had a bit of a like a full reggae sort of a vibe, uh, So uh, then, Machang, Abhi Hatra Dina was sette la Machang. Root Boy Republic and us we did smooth flow, Machang. Uh, so this song was recorded. We got it on a mini disc, Machang. Mm. And now we're going. Now we need to get our airplay, Machang. We need to be on radio, ne? It was Machang. Narayana Sindhu's thirty thirty fifth floor, Sun FM, Machang. Right. Then uh, we're standing outside waiting for the DJs. Come on, can someone come in to collect this? Uh, we we want to play this. He said, uh, "Okay, mini disc. Uh, we only play mini disc, Gila. So then, macha mini disc ke ka Gila nasta selling aaram macha. Toh mari single macha mini disc ke ka dala macha. Somehow took the mini disc and went and gave it to them. 
and uh, at 11 o'clock on one sunday or monday night majan they said okay we're going to play your song at this time mama i was like over the moon <laughs> Wow. You know how did we get the break? Because Rookie joined Sun FM as a DJ. Right. So Rookie is giving us the first plug, Macha. So Macha, now this is like I'm 15 years old. Uh, I'm in Royal Macha. I am my Aya is two years older than me. We uh, uh, Aya was at Central Office. So Macha, like literally 99.9 the FM mege Macha studio ke la vetna Macha. Abi ye thoda Macha jaag open last ke la. Inna Macha single jana ra. Kano Macha broad level o'clock night. Bibbidi bomb style, the urban sound. To what we together, we run DC town. And that's, that's the Shiraz Machang. And then Machang, my rap is going. And all that. I was like, you were like, over the moon, man. I was like, <laughs> that, was like that was amazing to, to hear us there on radio. And that's how it started, Machang. It was safe. Rookie used to give us more beats, Macha. He used to say, hey, I've got more beats. Then, so basically, Macha, we started off with Brown Boogie Nation. Good Boy Republic were their rivals. Right. So, Macha, uh, so see, since, Macha, we really didn't get a platform out of Brown Boogie Nation, Macha, Good Boy picked us up, Macha. And Shiraz, Shiraz was like, Macha, he, he kind of built the base, Macha, for us, right? right. So he kind, of, he kind of established and gave me my, and my brother, Macha, the mic, Macha, right? So I've always, I always, when I meet Shiraz, I say, much, bro, do you are, you are actually the one who opened the door for us. So much on Shiraz, Shiraz, uh, Shiraz, Rukshan Dole, Rukshan Dole used to be a mentor, much on Rukshan, and oh guys, this is our, this is our, this is what I want to hear, this is a cipher, this is what, uh, you know, this is how you write, uh, you know, this is how you get on stage. Itapasya much on Rukshan used to mentor us, much on then, Ruki, Ruki did. Um, and then itni patang gatta na patang gatta macha now now we are getting a bit of a vibe macha etu kada macha i was uh, i was actually talking to shiraz a uh, few days ago on, on facebook uh, 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 he, he, i mean I, I i was i didn't really aware that he actually invested you know to go to jamaica and you know learn the language and then he's actually writing the song in, yeah. in Padua, right? So it's yeah. really amazing that I don't see other artists in Sri Lanka having that level of commitment to his like style, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love Shiraz. I love Shiraz. I said the has got so much talent, man. He's he's he's, he's definitely an asset. Uh, mm. Not to be out there, much. He, he's really he's really uh, a super guy who kind of you know built the base, much. So I'm always thankful for people who 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 you know opened the way for us. Uh, and uh, Shiraz is one of them, Rukshan Dool is one of them, Mishan Daniels is one of them, Randi Vitarna is one of them. Mm. Uh, so basically, Majan, these guys are like pioneers, Majan. So we were basically mentored by the guys who kind of opened this whole hip hop vibe, Majan. Uh, so Randi used to pay, teach, he used to give me some books, Majan, saying, okay, these are some lyrics of your songs, this is how. Uh, you know, Ice T writes his rhymes. This is a, so much. I used to like. I used to get inspired by that stuff, much. So basically, I used to be the rhyme writer, much. And I hear much raps, and I used to like. I used to be like the like I hear raps, and then I rap. I just got a bit of a G funk mm. flow, much. I've got a bit of a different flow. Then uh, much. Then vibe back I have now, much. Then Shiraz would take up the karam, much. Kill you better come and listen to me. So, yeah. so that was like the first like our product mass and namaja singh ga kero mata macha isra macha beat ta karne right isra macha hadarne api mix man ke software ya api pa eke beats ta karam macha ma pc ya kusane na take one we are studios pioneer studios and all that macha we used to take a pc literally a pc and plug out from the audio card oh. and record that Thing much live so mama much and live I used to I I there was a demo version so live much live became much of my stay up and down now so now I'll record go now record go now I go to the man back back come on so hey 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 buggy button that time much a matter matter said to my cake walk kill a much on software right I don't know whether you heard of this yeah yeah cake walk in a much on there was a music production software so a game as a midi saran much on it, that was my first uh, introduction to MIDI beats. So, AK Machan Singha Kailu Machan Kailu 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 you better come on this time to me. Very basic, very Machan. If I listen to it now, I'll go to do it. 
I actually, I actually listen to it because uh, when I was searching in YouTube, the urban sound only that song comes up. Ah, <laughs> sikar, sikar. Okay, so that was like that was that. So that kind of gave us a bit of a mass feel, man. Sun ne film ne gaan na patang karta hai sinjo. So, ita pasthe maza, mage isko le kya? Iraj. So Iraj, Yawan and Yawan and Iraj, Rani do, and then uh, I think there was another one called Tilan. Uh, So now they formed another group called Zelox. Zelox, the Zelox, the Zelox, I think. Right. So they are very influenced by, much more heavily influenced by Fuji's. Ah. Oh. Sco album made in '96 and '97, '97 Sco album made. Mm. You remember? Radio oh. Not, you know, oh. So we got on radio, not the car. Much more, they they got on stage and they were performing at some uh, Lionel went uh, drama competition. Much more. Yahoo, I, Rani, Dewi, Iraj. So Iraj is in the back, much more playing the keyboard there. Uh, Uh, playing uh, radio not much. It was a Iraj said to another rookie to make a match. Say he said, "I want to produce a rookie and stuff like that." So rookie said, "Okay, uh, there is another couple of guys." And then uh, Iraj got plugged with us match, and then we all became Urban Sound. Like like Urban Sound, they came match, and he became the producer of Urban Sound. So then we got into our uh, uh, there were some competitions match, uh, T N L on stage and you know, like so. Right. Uh, so it was much on. So he said, "I'm I'm I'm producing for Urban Sound." So it was Urban Sound lineup got bigger much on. Then there was Gresha, uh, there was uh, Swamai Ayi, Gresha, and uh, Yawan, and Irajus. Uh, Irajus producing. So much on. Happy. It was much on. We wanted to make it a bit commercial. Uh, then happy are uh, two parties in the fact show, uh, Jarul, Eva, Bai, Bethi, but much on. Basically, you take a run, Maja. Then you go on stage, perform. Run on stage. He la Maja. Only hip hop group Maja. One guy. On stage, he has a rock scene. You, you're a rock fan, Maja. But on stage, he has a killing Maja. Like it's a no, no go zone, Maja, for rappers. You're like, dude. Like all, all these hit bangers, Maja. Stick Mara fans and uh, paranoid <laughs> and thing and uh, all those bands, Maja. All like. And when we get on stage, the bloggers look like. You know, much of weirdos have landed. Okay, happy. Much of when is he? Nigga, no much happy. I think that there is. Ah, happy. There are much of this. Who was that? Who are you? Are you? You must say, put the put the much of a audience. That put that when when I say the banana that because then much of we start getting a commercial audience coming into the banana. Oh, on stage area uh, from eighties club to uh, potluck cafe to you know uh, uh, locations when I say the much of we start attracting a different audience also. Then yeah. that kind of opened the way, and we we got into the finals. The only rap group got into the finals is what in Urban Sounds 2002 one. Uh, every time I talk to like even the rock bands, I had Sigmata and Whirlwind and all these other band metal bands also yeah. on on my yeah. show. Uh, yeah. Everybody is talking about uh, like TNL on stage, so it it has been a a very good platform for the bands those days right yeah, whether it's yeah, hip hop or metal definitely was anil and uh, there was like some other djs there mm. uh, well, there was a much egla much a sri lankan local music scene there was a mara tanad dunna was this rock cafe i think there was a rock cafe uh, you know call bd yes yeah they got rock cafe uh it's an amazing thing about uh, yeah uh, so that's how much we got into this whole soul uh, rap scene it was a rap scene we have a mass scene and mass scene uh and that was a much and you can say like okay uh, why don't we rap in uh, in our own languages uh, sing hello then i said okay i'll rap in tamil uh, uh, and uh, uh, it was a much Uh, I was then I just started working with BNS and stuff. Then, then much of my interest uh, in music was in a different line. His music was in interest in a different line. So Iraj wanted to work with me, much of, uh, and then uh, Mama, much of Godak, uh, all Iraj ke uh, our first album me ke much of Radhika ka Godak kara much of like say. Yeah. So J Town story, much of uh, I remember writing that uh, with uh, BK's brother giving me ideas and. it was a yawn and heavy la macha they we said okay this is the story this is the concept then macha mage office se gada gada infaz so that was you know infaz yeah yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. write a song with him also right yeah yeah, yeah. so infaz used to work in my office macha so 
ಇಂಪಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಆಡು ಹೊಸ ರೂಟ್ ಸೀನ್ ಉಂಗ್ಲಾದು ಕರೆ ಮಮ್ಮ ಹಿತ್ಲ ಮಾತ್ರ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಪಿಟ್ರಾಡ್ ಸೀನ್ ಹಾಕಿಲ್ಲ ರೂಟ್ ಸೀನ್ ಪಟಾಂಗಾಸ್ we got this song ready and uh, video kara the song became uh, widely recognized much yes because like lot of people didn't want to play initially because it was a bit pol- politically sensitive kera oh uh, but take much on godda cringe and patan gatta much on godda kaatte is like wow that's a meaningful song such an emotional song in patanga atta machan then i used to work a lot with iraj on on that album or in the name and there the uh, other phenomena the run 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 run, run. Yeah, yeah. yeah machan i remember watching the j town story the i think it was also launched on ya tv i think first time they they put out yeah ya tv ya tv is like one of the first tv yeah. stations to uh, put the song yeah and that's the ಸಮಾರಿಯಾಡ್ of you know what's what's the other side i mean looks like what what they are going through really macha i'll i'll be really honest with you macha samara ta angle macha mama gihilla podda tar api podda gihilla gihilla shows gana macha samara it was my samara ka like some some guys come and come at the end of the show man and say that is my life story brother like you yeah. know like demolin kiyana macha that is my life story thank you for for doing this cuz you know it, this song really touched me yeah like that was that, that is the whole point of doing music bro yeah you know, yeah you have to take a good message out right so that's 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 what that's what drove me to get more into tamil rap they got yeah uh it was really a you know heavy emotional song and i think it's uh, i think one of the best songs you guys iraj and you put out right for for forever yeah what uh, yeah but what, one one video that i really got like interested of viraj music it's uh, although i i'm like uh, although i was like into metal and rock and stuff but i was like i was seeing this all these original hip hop bands urban sound and then brown boogie all this coming up and i i really like the originality that coming out and then mm-hmm. one, one i saw uh, the run run video when, when they put it out the music video is was like super cool it it, it felt like a, it's a tamil movie yeah, like yeah. you know it's kind of like yeah. a tamil movie with the uh, singer uh-huh. vocals <laughs> iraj had iraj had access to uh, some of the best sound libraries at that time right but you can na ena ne macha no ma macha basna na na kirin alut na sample packs they guy are on here so that time macha that whole timbaland scene was there macha are timbaland na um we sample much and uh, what's that uh, there was a popular indian uh, sample pack much ek ek thing bama jaan tabla zoe dol zoe arvai neva much and vibes thing much and so it was much iraj iraj knew how to put a nice song together much hmm iraj thing bama jaan a a a talent player can much beach te aaram much and gana gala chord kiya kaiwa ho ga much and what was so then much uh, sangeet came and gave a completely different flavor to that song it was a matter of matter of name in the dimali garpa name me aake mandi okay i had i just started writing them as a mama masha even though i've been i've been listening to rap i've been listening to english rap so i only started writing tamil rap when when we did uh, j town story mm. uh, so it was much a amazing or was mama you are on the me the more you going to play get your bad and get it was good it did not like they fit mm. uh then much and did that and uh, it was say slowly slowly that 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 song got very popular uh 
and then that time I think that's the time when uh, he Iraj remixed uh, Hankar Nagare as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a completely different thing. Then Majan Iraj wanted to do uh, a very laid back R and B song uh, for like a like a summer jam Majan. So in the room had there was one of them. Yeah, yeah. So we were Majan Iraj, we were. Yeah. So yeah, that's how it is, bro. Yeah, so you were you were part of the Illinois crew as well, right? And you collaborated yeah. with a lot of uh, what are the other songs you remember collaborating? I used to I used to do a lot of songs. Iraj is in dual pilpasta much and uh sometimes much and like I propose some melodies like uh, some ideas and stuff like that much. Uh so I was I was pretty much involved with most of his production much on uh uh, but then Machan, I thought, you know, I want to do something on my own. Uh, so I started Machan uh, working with Johan Rajapaksa, right? Mm-hmm. Johan was uh, in Ezra Machan. There was a band called Ezra Machan, right? Oh, Billy Gay, Billy Fernando. Billy Fernando, Billy Fernando, Billy Fernando. Uh, Billy Fernando so, right? Billy Fernando. Billy and uh, Johan yeah. and all that. So uh, Johan was in that group and Johan also worked at uh, Hip Factory. So, from Mamadi Hilna Machan, Katagara, Johan, and I said, I want to do an album and help me out because I don't have anything. Uh, uh, I don't have a producer because Iraj was, Iraj was focusing on his album, Machan, I mean, and, and, and his productions. So, I felt like, you know, I had to, I had to put something out on my own as well, Kila. And then I said, uh, I told Johan, can you help me out? Uh, I don't have anything on me. Uh, can you can you help me produce an album? Then he started much. He literally said, "Okay, I'll give you a few hours before the studio starts, and I'll give you a few hours after the studio closes, right? So you get to come." And so much. Literally, I go early in the morning, stand in front of take one much, uh, <laughs> and and get that little hours. Then he got another one much. Little more inspiration. I said, "No, I'm not much. Give me a clear one much. Sing a clear one." And then. Uh, I, I wrote my entire album Asian Avenue in about three months, probably two three months. Uh, like so, then much on Bhushan Ma Jampin, Nisal Ra Jampin, Ramda Dasanaya Ga Jampin, and they all produced Asian Avenue. Mm. So that was like a fully full on Tamil hip hop album. Oh. It also had Singhala, so there was a trilingual version of uh, Asian Avenue, and then there was a Tamil version of Asian. Uh, I went to so uh, M Entertainment. Uh, Ashok Parwani was the executive matcha. So he's oh. like the uh, guy there. So Ashok to be uh, he said, oh, all right, okay, good job, album. Uh, so that we marked him a bit also on the intro. You know? Ah, Krishna, this is not going to work, this is not going to work. Yeah, yeah, you had that in the song, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so uh, 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 then uh, this album uh, suddenly one, one evening uh, so uh, Dinesh Kanagratna Majan uh, used to uh, uh, help out Machan with designs and stuff for me right so he, he designed my first uh, cover Machan and then and he met my brother later on did uh, cross culture and all that uh, so Machan he on, on my first album so he designed the cover and all that and I used to I I was staying with him, getting some artwork done and all that. And then suddenly, Ashok Parwani calls me and, say, calls me and says, uh, Krishan, your album has been picked up by Universal Music India. Wow. Uh, right? So this is in 2005. Okay. So uh, I am also about to fly off to England much on the study. So now I will wrap, wrap, wrap this up and release it and go. So I was like, Mar, excited. And then uh, Universal picked it up. They printed uh, the first batch of whatever and launched the Tamil album. So in, in South India, it was released as the first Tamil rap album. Right. Right. So so that that was the first Sri Lankan uh, release signed on the Universal, or like an album, Sri Lankan produced album. Then I think Bhatia got I go on after that in 2007. Uh, then uh, this this kind of opened the way for me. But then. I was studying in, uh, in London that time and uh, I really didn't ride the wave much. I missed the bus because I was not in India. Mm. Uh, my, my album was in India. My songs are getting promoted on SS Music and all that in India. I wasn't, I wasn't there much. I wasn't physically there. 
I was right. just basically trying to you know, complete my studies and and you know you know figure out my life. So uh, so then I missed the bus much. Um, and ever since I've right, I've done music, but I've not been you know full on active because I've I've got a, I've got a corporate life going on much at the same time and mm. you know priorities change. Yeah. But while while you were in UK, did you ever get chance to perform? Yeah, much I did. I did a lot. I did a lot of gigs. Uh, did a couple of videos in in London. Uh, so one of my songs, uh, Nina Vigale, was shot in London when I was there. So a couple of my friends helped out there. Uh, like Osar June, like Osri Ram. Uh, so that's how that all happened there. It was the match. came after my studies. I came back to Sri Lanka and then hung around trying to figure out what I want to do. But it was, music was always much and something that I did when I had time. You know, it, 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 it wasn't it wasn't my full on thing. You know, I didn't mm. I didn't make a career out of my music. It was it was something that I did. I like I like doing it, but it's not something I I do as a as a career. Yeah, Maja, I remember I I actually bought the Asian Avenue album when it was released. The red it was red cover yeah, with red a cover, cover. more of a like a Usher type. Uh, you were like sitting on a chair. I think that's what I remember. Like. <laughs> but it was. I mean, it's it was a Tamil rap album or hip hop album. Also, it was a probably the first R and B album. Also, right? Proper R and B album. Yeah, yeah. But the R and B got there because it had a lot of featuring artists, man. Like Infa Zidia, Lumbige, Ruksha Nikia, Ruksha Ma Kidia, it was a much on B K. Mm. Uh, like, uh, I really enjoyed making music because it was like guys I hung out with every day, Mata. Right? Because you 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 hang out with these guys, you 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 spend time with these guys, then you go back and write songs. Uh, it was it was Mata, very, very inspirational because that, that whatever you were writing that time was some things that were happening in your life. So, mm. like you, 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 were, you had very good inspiration and content to write. Majan, you, you actually released another album in 2010, which, uh, but yeah. I believe that it was not really like promoted or it didn't really, you didn't put it out really much, right? Majan, it was, it was a commitment I had with the label to put out a couple of albums and stuff. I just, I just did one. Uh, for the sake of you know fulfilling uh, my contract uh, side of things, you know just put it out and get it done with. Uh, right. Uh, right and and sadly, you know, I I hold no rights on any of my old content, oh. So it, it, it's all sits with the labels where we've written for perpetual period, much uh, moral rights on uh, those albums. But I mean, nevertheless, you know it. It gave me an oversight of you know how how publishing works and how you know, the sort of legality of music works. Uh, but to, 2010 album Macham was a good album, but I, I what I felt was Macham uh, I didn't mix it and master it well. The content, the quality of the song wasn't wasn't good enough for me. So I, I really didn't. I did the album, but I didn't really want to drive it or push it or whatever. And the other thing is Macham, I'm very bad at Macham. Uh, Promoting because uh, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't go to stations and say, you know, this is my, I can't. But I like doing music and then that's it. You know, I, I don't want to sit and do, write music, produce music, do music, and then go promote my music. You know, I think it's mm. too much. Right? So that's, uh, it's, it's, if, if people pick it up and if they like it, yeah, they like it. Right. Maja, I remember I, I saw this video that in 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 uh, YouTube that you did a TEDx talk and you actually yeah, did a yeah. J-Town story, like a breakdown of the song and then you yeah. performed a different, like a different version. Can you tell me about that experience? Maja, that was basically uh, the TEDx uh, committee guys reached out to me and said, okay, the, the concept was connecting the dots. Uh, uh, so then what I thought was Maja, then... Uh, now and future, like just connecting my three sorts of uh, three stages in in life, and uh, and I thought, okay, I'll, I'll also bring in a bit of uh, like a, a uh, I would say a different uh, presentation of the song. So I wanted to bring in 
like tabla to it, a bit of flute mm. to it. So Saranga Masha was my sound engineer. Uh, he's, he's, he goes as Rapzilla Masha. Mm. So uh, he used to work in my studio, Masha. I used to run a production house as well. Uh, so uh, he played the tabla. He's a very good tabla player, very good uh, musician. And, and we had a, a featuring artist who came in for flutes. And then I performed J Town Story there. Uh, J Town Story is obviously, like I told you, is a very emotional, more close to my heart sort of a song. Um, and um, then, Mashan, I, I kind of also opened the stage for the other projects that I work with. Is like Mashan giving the next generation guys uh, a platform. So I did uh, Ilangay Tamilan uh, one, which was me getting uh, ten rappers from different parts of the island. Uh, giving those guys a bit of a stage. So I said, okay, listen guys, TEDx is a big thing. I want to give you guys an opportunity on a TEDx stage. Uh, so I called them up. Uh, those guys came like in buses from different parts of the country. We, we spent a day uh, putting it together. So got them, got them that stepping stone sort of an opportunity. It was so much showed how music is, uh, is doable today. Like from where we started, like much Tape parang record kerlas, uh, going to find us music store and dreams record bar and finding music machan to mm. how you can now sit simply machan sit at home produce music and publish it on Spotify machan in a, in a, in a day or in a few hours. Uh, so how content generation is machan right now where people have access to technology, people have access to platforms, people have access to you know, all sorts of creativity and um, it's, it's, it's a completely different game, right? Uh, so I think uh, I think I, I wanted to kind of touch the, the basis. So then, now in the future, and how uh, digital music is going to be like, the, is, is currently the biggest thing uh, yeah. and uh, how we will transform the, the industry, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I was looking at your Facebook page for some time, and then yeah. I saw that the the stuff that you're posting on your page, I didn't realize up to that point that there were like Tamil cipher ciphers putting out, and then there is like a big South Indian rap scene. So I I never I was not aware of that that yeah. thing. So yeah. can you tell me a little bit about the South Indian rap scene? Are, are you have you worked with anybody from there? Yeah, so I so when when I started off uh, in like the soul Tamil rap scene in two thousand five as a Sri Lankan, uh, the there were there were there was an emergence of uh, a group called Chakrasonic Macham in in, uh, in Malaysia. Okay. Uh, so they were they were also doing Tamil rap music. Then came Macham in two thousand seven. Uh, there was Yogi B Macham who who kind of changed the scene. Then 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 came Macham uh, hip hop. Pamla, and then Dinesh Kanagadatnam, then all of these guys started like a whole new scene. Macha. So became, Tamil hip hop became a bigger thing mm. than what it is, what it, what it was 10 years ago. Macha. Now Tamil rap is like a completely different scene. You've got guys from UK, guys from Canada, guys from Singapore, Malaysia. Uh, so so now hip hop is, is also part of a mainstream movie music, right? So guys like Hip Hop Tamala is, a, is also a music producer in the, in the cinema industry. Right. Um, so I used to like say, I, I used to like, whenever I go to Chennai, Machan, I, I work on a film uh, song. So I've done like uh, about four or five film songs. Uh, I used to sing for a uh, music director called Vijay Anthony. Uh, a Sardana song called Makayala, which 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 had like you know 10 million views on on, on, on YouTube, which was a very popular song. Uh, then Machan, I worked on uh, like four other films. But for, for me, Machan, the, the, the effort getting into Tamil cinema was like too much because you probably get a couple of thousand rupees, Machan, Indian rupees, to be featured on a Tamil rap song uh, mm. or Tamil song. Uh, but for me, that was like you know. It wasn't worth the hustle, much, you know. So um, for me, it, it was like whenever I go to Chennai, I, I reach out to these guys and listen. I'm in Chennai. You want to work on something? Let's work on something. There's a project at that time. Yes, if if, if, if we if, like if the if the the dots connect, yes, 
uh, but if I, I I really never went chasing behind that much, uh, mm. that that whole industry. But if you wanted to make it big in in India, you got to be uh, a music producer for a movie much, right? Okay. Because this this whole independent scene is still very independent much. Mm. Right? So how much would YouTube views give us? Be honest, let's be honest. Right. right? A couple of, couple of hundred dollars a month. Uh, how much would your Spotify streams give you unless you had like millions of streams? Yes. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, I mean, so for me right now is it, I mean, with, with the whole paradigm shift uh, and, and everything is for me, music, I make music for my self satisfaction. It's like, you know, I, it, it feels good for my soul. I, you know, and uh, I make music if there is uh, a societal impact. Like say, for example, am I making a change in uh, in society? Am I empowering some kids, or am I am I making a change? Then I'll make music. Uh, most of the music that I make is is invested by me. So mm. I invest in my time. I invest in productions. I invest in the, the videos. Uh, so so it's it's for me, music is something that I do out of passion. It's not it's not something that I I want to do to make money or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's great, Krishan. So one more thing that I, I you were talking with Danu about this uh, program that you were doing in Sri Lanka for the the young rappers. Yeah, uh, yeah. can you tell me about that program, Krishan? Machan, so we did which is uh, which is which is on YouTube. So about about fifty thousand uh, views it has garnered, Machan. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty unique in the sense, Machan. We we got twenty eight Tamil rappers, Machan. Twenty eight Tamil rappers in Sri Lanka. That's a big number, right? Right. I mean, what it started, and today, if I can get twenty eight Tamil rappers to come on a song, that means that the industry has grown in Sri Lanka. There is people who are interested in doing it. Machan. It's just that they're not given a platform. They're not given a voice, right? So, uh, what do I do? I give them a platform. So basically, Yawan and I got together. We said, okay, we put some money aside. We'll produce this video, get these guys here, uh, give these guys an opportunity. Uh, so much and Yawan and I uh, said, okay, uh, I'm, I'm coming in December. Uh, I told Yawan, can you, can you organize these guys? There was a couple of guys uh, who already worked on MK, MMC, uh, like guys who, were, who knew me. Uh, and uh, they said, okay, we'll, we'll record the vocals. We'll get these guys coming. I record these vocals. Uh, Anna, you just come up this day and, and, and do your stuff. I said, okay, I'll, I'll come and do this, uh, uh, arrange it. Uh, then we funded the videos, we, we launched it. The, the, the song talks about Machan, things that are happening in society. So from Machan, uh, corruption to, mm. uh, to Machan, you know, discrimination of women, Machan, to, to, to uh, you know, uh, rape, Machan, that's happening uh, in, in, in certain areas in, in the country, to Machan. Uh, uh, the unfair justice on, on plantation workers to much right. Right. everything everybody talks about like a certain topic much on it so that there is like so it's saying it's giving the uh HRA means warning so it's giving it's giving uh an sort of an awareness message to the young people saying this is what's happening around you guys just be aware of it mm. you know? so that's that that was that was the whole idea Machan. so that's that's actually again yeah that's that's great that's really great what you're doing um so krishan what are you working on these days but so these days uh i i was going to work on a very commercial song but i've been i've been having a, a change of heart much to make music that doesn't mean anything to me right now so uh the, something that has been really coming into my heart these days is is, is, is doing a song for plantation workers much so i've kind of composed a song uh Talking of the struggles of a plantation worker, Machan, who, work, who works for less than five dollars a day, right? Right. Uh, so generational poverty, Machan. generational slavery, Machan, right? How do we change? How do we make an impact in that society, right? Uh, how do we how do we influence some sort of a change, Machan, right? Uh, so there is obviously areas like education, access to education, access to much on the right of lands, access to higher pay, much on higher wages for those people. So that's the kind of um, topic that I want to pick on next and do. So uh, I, I've started the base of that. Uh, so that's something I'm going to work on. Apart from that much on musically, I will pick 
stuff that that's close to my heart you know i can connect with it i can i can you know i have a purpose for that song or there is there is there is a purpose that this song will have some sort of influence on someone's life yes i will do that if it doesn't i if i can't connect to it man i don't want to do it right so krishan what do you do outside of music much so i work i work in local government much so i i i i worked in digital uh, for uh, for a while much so i I was the digital innovation manager for for the city. Mm, uh, so okay. I, I work I work in part of the innovation and ICT team. Uh, so I'm more involved much on with projects with uh, related to smart cities, IoT, uh, project management. Yeah, that's that's what I do much. Right, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, I mean it's it's great that you got connected because uh, I interviewed the. Uh, my friend big doggy because he's from nigambo yeah, yeah. i mean i'm from nigambo so we grew yeah, yeah, up yeah. together he was in the doggy same like, doggy yeah. is a great brother yeah and we were in the same school and then uh, i was a bit older than him but so i used to bring like magazines and stuff to school and then okay. there was because we went to like a buddhist national school so i think we were probably the two guys who were listening to western music at that time in nigambo nobody else <laughs> oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah so we so had a major trend name acha like so, nigambo used to be a very trendy city acha yeah yeah so we just got clicked uh, very quickly we got clicked and then uh, i've been like supporting him for a long time <laughs> yeah so, yeah he's a he's a really nice guy so krishan uh, anybody you want to shout out to uh But like I said, everyone who's helped me, Masan, all the way. So, 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 starting from Masan, uh, uh, Shiraz, Nishan, Subodh, Ramdev, the 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 previous lot, Masan, the guys who gave me uh, opportunities, Masan, like say 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 Iraj to you know everybody, BK, everybody, Masan, like say Johan, Ramdasana, like uh, everybody who's worked on my career, Masan, all the you know, big big shout out to everybody. Um, also wanted to. Uh, thank uh, yawan and machan who is who is now currently uh, working with me on a few things as well for for uh for the community machan we want to we want to see how we can kind of you know provide opportunities for the community uh, uh through machan education through digital platforms through music you know so so there's so much things that we can do to positively change people's lives right so so we want to we want to kind of work on that areas apart from that much on um um I want to shout out to like I want to give a big shout out to everybody who's been listening and supporting our music man from day one day one fans much you know, mm. they have always shown love they have always come and reach out to me some people message me some people see me and they say they remember me I'm I'm not I'm not uh, like very active in the scene much but there are people who still remember me after many years when I hey you used to rap right <laughs> yeah 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 I do I do I used to yeah and uh, yeah so all the all the day one guys who supported the music supported the industry yeah thanks a lot <laughs> yeah you should check this facebook page much and there's something called parana rap parcel parana yeah. all right parcel, and then they were like school. posting all the old school stuff <laughs> <laughs> i'm wow. sure you, i'm sure they posted about you for definitely <laughs> parana 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 rap parcel parana rap parcel yeah wow. <laughs> So Krishan uh, thanks for doing this uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show uh, and uh, just tell everyone how they can reach you on social media also uh, i'm on i'm on, I'm on uh, facebook obviously and i'm on instagram so but you can you can uh, message me on i the mashan so there's a there's a verified page called krishan mahesan uh, uh, just 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 you know they follow me on that and and reach out to me i'm, I'm generally uh quite responsive uh or not very timely but i i try and try and respond to every message that comes my way uh it's not a bot it's me uh but i just don't just, i just don't respond and i'm not i'm not full on full on social media you probably see a post like once in two weeks or once in a week or once in a month maybe but that's me <laughs> yeah so so thanks krishan <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot man thanks for trying <laughs> and great stuff much great stuff that you're re-energizing the whole industry and, and, and sharing this so thanks a lot for you and yeah. uh and i hope like your blog gets picked up uh, i will definitely share it with everyone um 
and yeah, keep keep the industry alive, bro. Yeah, thanks. And I actually I invited Shiraz also. Uh, we will be doing it uh, later later in the July. So <laughs> give my love to him, bro. Give my love to him. He's a big bro to me. Yeah. So Krishan, thanks. Thanks, Rajan. Take care, Rajan. Bye. Yeah.